welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to be learn about j table in java j table is used to display the data in the tabular form and it is a component of rows and column here i just import a library which is java x dot swing and now public class j table and here i just create a variable which is f and table and j table okay so this is our method here and f which is equal to new and j frame okay now a string data and then this is the array size and the data of the table which is 1012 and then name which is Fayaz so this is ID number then Fayaz and then the amount so which is six eight triple zero so yes for time now from here I write ID number one zero one three and then I write Khan and then salary so salary is eight lakh okay and after that I define one another table which is the ID of five two three two and then we have the name which is joy and the salary here is this figure okay now and yes this one so i just close this code here and now it's write string colon and the array size of column which is equal to and then here i just define id name and salary okay and now j table and j table gt which is equal to new j table and then i just write data dot data and sorry data dot sorry it's a uh, data and data first one i just write data and column okay and now i said gt dot set boundaries and which is 30 40 and 200 and 300 which is height j scroll pan which is sp is equal to new j scroll pan okay and i just pass an all parameters which is gt so gt is jt is the java table and sp object is the scroll pan now f dot add and then the parameter of this is scroll pan sp and f dot set size okay so 300 and then 
400 now f dot set set visible which is true okay and now public static void main and then strings arguments and new and the name of the table okay so our code is completed here so first of all i just do import a library of java x dot swing and then i just create the variables for j frame which is the name of app then i just create the method of this class and then f which is equal to new j frame so i just create an object and then insert a data which is the string here so this is a multi-dimensional array and a string colon and the id name and salary and j table gt which is equal to new table and data and the columns here now set boundaries the scroll panel and the object to the scroll panel and new scroll pan and i just pass the parameter which is gt this one uh, sorry this one so f dot add sp so this is the parameters of this scroll panel and then i just set the size for frame and i just add this scroll pan in this frame and the last i just visit this uh, sorry visible this and then create the new method for this class so i just run this code here so you can see the data in the table form which is id 1012 fires and this is a salary range and you can see the khan and the salary and the id of khan and then at the last it is joe so this is j table in java thanks for watching this lecture see you in next lecture